What is up everybody? This is Omega Belmung here and of course super special day. I'm pretty excited because I got a few figures that I can talk about but this is just one of them. I actually got two of them but I will be for a different video because I like to split them up because I don't really want to put them together because they come a little bit too long. So uh, anyways, I'm super excited for uh, this statue. I've been looking forward to this one for a while. And of course, if you clicked on this video, you probably would know who that is already because it's going to be on the title. So I shouldn't be, uh, you know, talking too long about that and keep you guys in suspense because you guys probably don't know already. <laughs> but uh, I've, been, I've been eyeing this, uh, this figure for a while now. It's been since, ever since I started collecting them again. And, uh, you, know, I've been, you know, I've been going to a lot of the, the video game kickers. Of course, I'm, I'm a big video gamer. That's even a word. <laughs> and from all of my games, you can see from, you know, of all my other videos I've posted up. And, you know, I've, I've been eyeing this one for a bit, but it's, um, I think, uh, I mean, I'll just gonna pull it out here real quick. <sighs> Booyah! This is uh, Noel Vermillion, or uh, was it, MU number 12? I think that's how you say it. Um, I haven't played... Uh, Blaze Blue in a while. It's been it's been actually since the second one maybe. I don't remember if she was in the second one. Uh, maybe I just played the first one, and that's pretty much it. Uh, so I don't remember. They all just blend so so well together in my head. Uh, I think I only played the first one. But anyways, this is a pretty cool statue. Uh, it's a, as you can see from the box, this is a one eighth a painted figure. But uh, anyways, let's get a close up of the box. Alright everybody, this is the front of the box, and of course you can see from the top there it says Blaze Blue Chrono Phantasm. That's actually from the game. Uh, it's the second one, right? I can't, I should have looked that up, but uh, pretty sure it was like the second one, maybe maybe it's the third one. Uh, 2000, 2013, that's probably the second one. Uh, but anyways, of course you get the name here. And then, of course, is a one eighth scale painted figure, and this is from uh, Arc System Works, which is the developer that actually developed the game. So I'm guessing I don't know if it is a different company that made the figure itself, but uh, uh, we'll just go off by that because I don't see really anything else in the box that says you know like you know maybe Max Factory or somebody has made them. Of course, not Max Factory, but uh, like Koto Buki or anything like that. So you don't really see anything like that on the box here. It says and the other than just what it says down the bottom there that says uh, arc system works and of course uh, go to the side here and this is is a used uh, figure it's not a new figure you can tell from maybe the little uh, bubble wraps around it you can tell from that already that's a used figure uh, maybe I'm pretty sure the new ones don't have them but it, it's cool that they bubble wrap it because in case something happens because of course this is from Japan uh, this is I do not I don't think it's I don't think I could pay for it, it being new because it's gonna be pretty expensive but I bought it for pretty a pretty good price to use uh, which is a uh, in uh, you know the uh, Amimi Ami Ami I keep saying Amimi Ami Ami dot com which is a pretty cool place to go if you want to buy some figures uh, they're a little not little but they're a uh, a store from Japan that you know sells a bunch of figures. You can pre-order things like that, so pretty cool stuff. Uh, check it out. Uh, and this is like a B, B grade, which is pr pretty good. Uh, and of course the box is a little bit beat up, but the box is I don't I'm not worried about the box you know too much about them. Uh, the side of course is just really nothing. This is probably a simplistic box. There's really nothing to really look at. You got the back here. Uh, pretty cool stuff there. And the, the other side is the same thing. So there's really nothing to to really look at other than the front window of the box. So let's get started with the figure itself. Okay, so this the figure itself. This is after setting it up. I think I got it right. It took me a little while to get these going because I I had problems with them. <laughs> so uh, not really sticking them in, but I was setting them up, and sometimes they just don't look right. But I'll just keep it like that. I hope that's that's how it is. Uh, as you can see, it comes with the base here. Uh, it's a blue base with a pretty cool design on the bottom here. As you can see, a little cool design here. Uh, and then, of course, it comes with the two sticks. These sticks actually pop out pretty easy. You can see that they kind of jiggle around, so they're not really still. 
uh, they do kind of move around so uh, they're, they're just little sticks that you put into these slots here on the bottom here and that's pretty much it so you stick them in there uh, they come with two sticks of course uh, there's a tall, taller one and then a short one on the right side and then you just stick them into the, her wings on the back here uh, so that's pretty cool but like I said they do kind of jiggle around so if you jiggle this around they do make noises and they do kind of you know like hit her in the hair in the back there and they do jiggle around so it's it's a little weird but that's that's how it is I guess it's the best they can do and I'm okay with that um, we'll give a quick spin of the statue here it's gonna be a little bit noisy uh, you can see I think she is about uh, almost 12 inches I think tall because of the fact that she's also the reason why she's 12 inches is because of the wings itself uh, that's pretty cool you can see the wings kind of pop out and your hair flushes back like that I think that's pretty cool and then we'll go to the side here and that is pretty much it for the figure we are going to do a quick close up of the figure so I'll see you guys back in a second alright so this is the close up of the figure and of course I have some weird lights I probably should get like a light on the bottom so I can shine into their face uh, you can see the shadows kind of going into her face like that so I kind of want to get lights from the bottom here and then just shine it up to them so you can see the face a little bit better uh, but it is what it is uh, I do like her armor here if you can see there's are little eyes on her shoulder pads there uh, on each side there you can see little eyes there uh, of course she got two blades on her, on her hands here and like I said, you can see they, these things move quite frequently, so you gotta you gotta kind of mess around with them for a bit to get them to, uh, you know, stick in there. But they, there's really nothing you can do other than let it jiggle like that. So uh, then we're gonna quickly move back here. Of course, she got some pretty cool boots. They're sharp, and we're gonna take a quick spin around to the back. And of course, I, I love I love how her hair is kind of placed. It comes out like that. Looks pretty cool. I like I like I just like how it looks like. Then we'll keep going back. There, of course. Like I said, I think the coolest part about her is really is really the base itself and then her boots here. They look just look cool when they're all shiny. She is a pretty shiny uh, figure itself. Uh, like her shoulder pads here do give a nice uh shine to it. You can't see it in the video here because of the fact that it's a little it's you know you can't I just say unless you go really close up you can't really find see the shine but it looks pretty cool like that so a uh, pretty cool statue I, I like I said, I've been looking forward to this statue for a while and I finally picked it up so it's another one off my list so I'm pretty happy about that so uh, anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed the video here and I'll see everybody next time for some uh, figure and statue unboxing peace.